like Colby Yates said, has made that transition from professional rodeo cowboy to a professional bull rider. Joe Frost, Randlett, Utah. Got a ride last night at 84 and a quarter points. It's a relatively new bull. He's got a bull that he's gonna know pretty well here tonight, 84 and a quarter. He's gonna gotta be a few more points here tonight if he wants to move into the event lead. Well, all he's got to worry about and focus is staying on his bulls, doing just what he did last night in round one. That was a solid ride right there for Joe Frost. I expect to see something else here in round number two, except he's got his hands full just a touch more with stage fright. Stage fright from Windy Valley Buckers, the bull that Cody Jesus won Window Rock, Arizona on last September. Joe Frost, he's got it. Frost becoming the fourth man to be perfect this weekend in Albuquerque, and you said it. He just has to chill out a little bit more of a difficult bull, but hey, that's good. That's more points. This has been a great bull. We've seen them be as high as 90 points on before. Not gonna be that high here, but you can see the control. That free arm got just a little bit too high. Scared me there for just a second, cause that can really end things quick. But he just immediately pulls that free arm elbow down to get the weight back in the inside of the spin. That was a, right there, that was a big time move for Joe Frost. And the event standings are going to get that much more interesting. 86 and a half points for Joe Frost. Moves right now to number three in round number two. 